What's up guys, Tactical Swede here with another tabletop review, this time the excellent 511 thumb drive holster. Let's get in it. Alright guys, so here we have the 511 thumb drive holster uh, made in conjunction with Blade Tech and Viking Tactics. Uh, as you can see right off the bat, very similar in design to the Serpa, uh, which a lot of people have experience with. Uh, the big difference being the location of your uh, release on the Serpa. It's going to be the paddle switch here that is manipulated with your trigger finger. And on the 511 here, it's this thumb button. Alright, so this is a... Uh, previously safety checked. I'm not going to do it again. You can watch my video on that if you like. Um, but let's get into the, the holster here. Um, very well made. Uh, nice hard plastic. Uh, it's lightweight. Um, not going to add a lot of weight to your body. Um, comes out of the box with two different options here. You got your, your uh, paddle design here and your uh, belt loop attachment here as well. Uh, both of these are adjustable for belt size, so if you're having a, a skinny belt or a thicker belt, you can adjust this bar up and down here to accommodate that. As well as on the paddle here, you got these little hooks that are going to hook underneath your belt. Um, those can move up and down as well. Uh, I chose to keep the paddle design on here uh, just for, honestly, for ease of taking it on and off. Um, a lot of times when I'm out shooting, I'll be doing different things. Uh, I might have a different weapon I want to put on, and it's just easier with this to pull it out and put a different one in than it is to take my belt out and unloop this every single time I, I want to put it on and off. Um, but depending on what you're, what you're using it for, this might be a better option for you. Although I will say this is the best paddle design I've ever used. I've used others in the past that, uh, you know, if you pull on pull on this hard enough and you don't quite, you know, with Serpas I've seen it, you know, it'll it'll pull out. Or just other holsters with a paddle in general, uh, sometimes they'll slip out of your pants. Um, this one, I have not had that issue with. Matter of fact, I'll roll in some video here of me yanking on this thing and it, it, it's solid. It just does not come out. Uh, we'll see over the course of time durability of this, whether or not this cracks. Um, but for right now, I've got no complaints on this whatsoever. Um, as you can see, the mounting options here, uh, another similarity to the Serpa, it uses the same screw pattern. So, uh, 511 does sell several different uh, accessories for this, uh, you know, drop leg option, um, an offset. But, uh, if you're looking for even more options for this, all of the Serpa gear that the Blackhawk puts out is going to fit this as well. So you've got a lot of different mounting options. Um, <clears throat> getting into the operation of the holster here, one thing that I love is when you insert this in here, you are going to know right off the bat whether it's locked in or not, because you're going to hear very audible and uh, you'll feel a nice tactile click. No mistaking, that is locked in there in place, it's not coming out. Nice audible click. Um, once it's in there, it is going to stay in there. It is not going to come out. Um, uh, one one uh, review I saw of this, uh, the person was complaining that this riveted design does not allow you to adjust the, the friction hold of, uh, of this and they said that if you were to turn this upside down and push the button the, the, the weapon will fall out. Yeah, it will. Um, but uh, you could play the what if game all day long and throw all kinds of crazy scenarios out there. That doesn't bother me very much. I'm interested in what is likely to happen with this. Um, the, the, the chances of me being in a position where this is upside down and the button accidentally gets pressed, uh, not very, not very uh, likely. I'm, I'm worried about this coming out when I don't want it to from running around, rolling around, and you can bang on this thing. It's, it's not going to come out uh, without pushing that button. Um, with that being said, there is not a lot of movement in this thing. I mean, you can look front to back. There's a little bit of 
play in there. Side to side, there's even less play. There's a little bit, but even less. But it's not like this thing is rattling around as you're running around. I mean, I, I've, I've done some run and gun with this. There's not, there's not a lot of rattling. There's not a lot of movement. Um, it holds the weapon in there secure, and it doesn't come out unless you push this button. So, thumbs up for me. Now, as far as the operation of this, uh, those of you that are familiar with the Serpas, you're going to know that the, the paddle switch here, manipulated with the trigger finger. Um, I've used Serpas in the past. I've never had an issue with a negligent discharge. Um, in all honesty, the, you know, all the videos out there you see of it happening with the Serpas, is it's a training issue. It can be overcome with training, but the opportunity for it to happen is there. And that's what I like about this design is you don't need to have any kind of downward pressure with your trigger finger to operate this. It's going to sit there where it's naturally going to sit when you take your firing grip and it doesn't need to push down so you don't have that opportunity for your finger to slip into the trigger guard and pull the trigger as it comes out of the holster. Um, you could grab, you could even grab it down here where the trigger is and pull this out. But since there's no downward pressure on that finger, even if it comes out there, it's not going to slip onto the trigger and pull. So as you come in to take your your firing grip your thumb naturally is going to come down on that button so all you need to do is just continue that downward pressure take your firing grip and pull out it's smooth it is very fast um, I've have been practicing some quick draws with this um, using a timer app on my phone and I mean this thing is quick quicker than anything else I that I have at the moment quicker than my Serpa it's just a natural thumb comes down in that position fire grab your firing grip pull it out it's smooth it's fast I, I, I love the design of it um, because there's not a ton of friction on it it comes out very smooth um, so I, I, I've got no complaints on the design of that um, as I said I'm not I'm not saying the Serpa is a bad holster I'm not saying it's an unsafe holster I'm just saying that it requires a bit of training to make sure that that finger is staying where it's supposed to and doing what it's supposed to and not sliding into that trigger trigger frame or trigger guard and pulling the trigger when you don't mean to um, now is this thing a hundred percent safe from negligent discharge no because I mean there's still an op you know opportunity for you to intentionally well not intentionally but get your finger in the trigger guard too quickly and pull the trigger trying to be faster than you are um, so that's still an option but that's an option with any holster if you get your trigger or your finger in the trigger guard before you're supposed to you're going to have the option uh, opportunity for a negligent discharge um, but if you're using it properly the way it's supposed to be used and you're not going faster than your ability um, you're never going to have an issue with this holster um, yeah, so, <clears throat> as I've said, uh, I, th this is the best holster I have in my, uh, collection right now, as far as a range holster that's fast and quick, and, uh, it retains the weapon well, doesn't make a lot of noise, you know, sometimes you get a holster that you run around with, and it's like, clack, 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 this thing, again, not a lot of noise in there, not a lot of movement, um, I like it. Uh, as for the cons, the negatives of this, um, right off the bat you're going to notice that this does not accommodate any kind of weapons mounted light. So if you like to run a uh, flashlight or laser or something on the underside of your uh, pistol, this is not going to be an option for you because it's, it just it, that's the only design it comes in. Yeah, there's no weapons light version of this. This is what comes with, and that's what you got to live with. So if you like to run a light, not an option for you. Uh, your second limiting factor is going to be the model of handgun you're using. Um, 
in uh, in years past when this thing first came out, if you owned a Glock, you were good. If you owned anything else, you were pretty much out of luck. Um, they have started um, opening up more models of this. Uh, right now, again, Glock, you're good. Um, they also make a version for uh, MMP. Uh, they make a version for uh, some SIGs. I'm not sure exact models of SIGs, but I know they do some SIGs and uh, Beretta 92. If you own anything other than those, you are again out of luck and this is not going to be an option for you. So, uh, really, those are my only negatives. Um, actually, let me go into this because I've heard people complain about this and I just want to kind of dispel this. Uh, I've heard people complain that if you pull up on the weapon before you push the button, it doesn't unlock. Yes, that is true, um, but that's intentional. That's not a, it's not a design flaw. You're, you know, it's part of the retention of this holster to prevent somebody from just yanking on this and then realizing they gotta push a button. Um, the, it's designed for an intentional press of the button, pull the weapon. Press of the button, pull the weapon. And uh, it may take, uh, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve, honestly. Uh, when I first started using this, um, again, trying to be faster than my training allowed, I would pull up on this and not, I wouldn't have pushed the button all the way down to release it yet, and I would, you know, basically be pulling my pants up. Um, but that's, that was my training error, um, trying to be too fast before I was comfortable with this thing. So practice with it practice getting that that deliberate press and then pull of the weapon and this thing is going to be so smooth and fast if you're practicing and you're doing it right um yeah that i i, I can't believe people are complaining about that you know that's just their own their own <clears throat> their own training issue uh not an issue with the holster itself all right guys that's all i've got um great great piece of gear here um, no real complaints from me, although depending on your situation, it may not be a good fit for you. Um, model of gun as well, as I said, and, uh, weapons, weapons light options, uh, not there for everybody. So if, uh, if, if you're like me and you run your system like this, uh, great option for you. Check them out. Um, you won't be disappointed. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, let me know in the comments, uh, like, and by all means, please hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on any new videos coming out. We'll have, we've definitely got more in the works and, uh, I'm always trying to come up with new ideas. So until next time, guys, live life and have fun out there.